I guess I tuned in too long because I got off guard and didn't think that this station, 101.3 KDWB, which I listen to every day, would say for me, or rather say for me and about me in my community. This radio station representing the Twin Cities of St. Paul, Minneapolis, Minnesota, home of 10,000 lakes and now home of 70,000 Hmong people, as a state with one of the highest immigration population. Now how did that came to be? But for the Hmong residents, more than 30 years after the secret war transcribes to 30 months in a house that came ignorantly out right from their mouth. So all I could say is, do you see or do you not see? Do you not see the bustling July 4 Mall soccer tournament every year at Koa Park, the largest soccer tournament in the nation? Yeah. On, the same day, yeah. on the same day as white independence comes another wave of faces rejoicing in a brighter future. Have you ever squeezed through the mass of Hmong people at the Crowded River Center? Yeah. Yeah. Celebrating a new year in late November, flash coming from all over the U.S., flashes of red, green sashes, silver necklaces, dangling queens and flower embroideries that carries ancient histories over the 18 clans of the Hmong. And I can tell you that all those people are not just things. These hopes, successes, and struggles to one house on unfortunate families with teen pregnancies and poverty using electric airways to advocate this image so that those who haven't heard of the Hmong or even know much about the Hmong can only see this over thousands of Hmong in the nation. Is that all you see? Do you not see everyone? Or do you see only one person standing in front of you? One person representing one side of the story from every race. Hmong, Native American, Latino, Black, Somali, Chinese, Karen, etc. This becomes dangerous because it is called stereotypes that will soon cloud the mind and bring in ignorance. Do you see? If you don't, then open your eyes. Yeah. Oh,